when calculating torque you must pay attention to the angle that the forces are applied at in this video the angles will be calculated using a consistent coordinate system while all coordinate systems define reference coordinates in a consistent coordinate system all vectors are calculated in reference to those coordinates this is vitally important for torque where you must pay attention to the location of the application of each force and the direction of that force from that application point. To find the angle produced by a force, you must first start with the defined axis of rotation origin. You must draw the radial outwards from that origin. Once the radial is past the application point of the force, you draw the direction of the angle. Keep in mind, you must also compare the sign of the angle relative to what you defined as positive theta. Here is an example where you can recalculate the angle you will use for your torque equation. Again, pay attention to the sign as well. A force with a negative angle will produce a torque opposite that of a force with a positive angle. Here is another example with another geometry given. As before, calculate the angle for the force producing the torque compared to the radial outward from the origin. While some angles will be easy to calculate, you may have to review your geometry to calculate both radial distances as well as angles using principles such as the laws of sines and cosines and considerations for congruent angles. 